Download complete. Initiate playback. Playback. <laughs> Enjoy the show. <laughs> That time again. What's up, everybody? Me Time Gamer, how's it going? Welcome to episode 18 of the Me Time Gamer podcast. How's everybody going here? Joe, John, whatever, you know, you remember the name. <laughs> oh, God, third week in a row I do that. Awkward beginning. Yeah, so like I said, welcome to episode 18 of the Me Time Gamer podcast. Hopefully, everybody's going well. I'm going fantastic, as always. Uh, hopefully you guys are ready. It's not a big week this week for news and stuff like that. A, lo- a couple uh, uh, bit news about Far Cry 5 and uh, stories like that. A couple of new things we'll talk about. And uh, yeah, of course, before we go into news, as usual, uh, you can follow me everywhere. Me Time Gamer at Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and of course on YouTube, where you can watch the, uh, the video version of the podcast. Of course, if you want to watch the podcast, if you're watching the podcast, you can also listen to the podcast on pretty much every podcast app in uh, iTunes, play, uh, Google Play, uh, iTunes in, Stitcher, and all those lovely, lovely uh, podcast application. And of course, you can go to the website if you want uh, links to uh, some of the stuff I will be talking about. You can find the links at uh, metimegamer.com and you can go to the podcast section and find it there. Usually on the front page, you can find the... Um, post concerning the specific uh, podcast you will be looking for so without further ado like we like i usually do we'll start off, i'll start off by talking what i uh, what I played in the past week since the last podcast of course then we'll move right into the news we'll uh, uh, drop into the kickstarting it uh i'll explain that if you're your first time listening to the podcast i'll explain what that is when i get there and of course we will conclude the podcast as we usually do so without further ado let's get into what i played in the last week so the last week I played uh, I played a lot of different games. Let me let me pull up YouTube here because I'm a bit uh, I'm a bit confused of what I've played lately. Uh, I played a lot of Far Cry Primal a bit more. Uh, of course, uh, just give me a second here. Sorry, <laughs> I'll be ripped. Yeah, so I played um, I played a bit of uh, Primal. I didn't post any videos yet uh, this week for that. Sorry, I got the, the hiccups there. Sorry if I'm slowing down a bit. Yeah, I did. Uh, I played it a bit, bit of Far Cry stream. I didn't stream yet this week, but uh, during the weekend I did a tiny bit. Uh, I also, oh, I played. I started playing Stellaris. Uh, there was a special on the Humble Bundle uh, monthly subscription, which you 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 can you can buy the subscription. It's twelve dollars a month, but you can you can opt out and and opt out of it anytime you want. And Stellaris is usually like a $40, $50 game, but if you bought the uh, the monthly pass for $12, you get Stellaris as the first game for free. And I think on two days, uh, June 2nd, like, you get the uh, the other games that unlock, like 10 more games or something like that. Uh, yeah, so I bought Stellaris. Uh, holy smokes, Star- Stellaris is such a fun game to play. It's a game I've wanted to play for a while now. It's very... Sp- um, um, uh, like galaxy exploration, like taking over, uh, becoming like the the supreme uh, leader of the galaxy or stuff. Like if you to resume it uh, briefly, you start off like choosing where, wherever you want to. Uh, if you guys don't know what the game is, you start off by like selecting the race you want to play play at. Of course, you got the human. I think you got two human factions uh, with like they want the, the the first one, the one I I pick. I guess it's the base one. I think if I remember correctly, it's called the. Um, the United Nations of Earth, and then you have another one that's like it's, it looks like a, another human, uh, as another set of human people, but it's, it takes place on another planet. Of course, then you have different alien types that you start off with your planet with a couple of ships and stuff like that, and then you have to explore your solar system, then move on to other solar system, and you keep expanding out, uh, uh, like installing fr- uh, frontier bases and stuff like that. And eventually, you start meeting uh, alien factions. You can become friends with or stuff like that so i haven't got into the like deep down into it yet so i know there's a lot of it's very involved when you get when you get even deeper inside of it so um, i will have to check that once i start uh, playing even more so definitely next week definitely check out for videos on that 
I did play a couple uh, small little games. I played uh, Meekly Makes, which is an older game by the guys that make Bendy and the Ink Machine. Which is a uh, which uh, the Meekly Makes is actually a fun little game. It's a it's a QTE game, so you have to press buttons when stuff happens on the screen. Uh, it's W A S D, uh, and that that's that's pretty much. Sorry about the phone there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much W W A S D, and that's pretty much it. It's it's pretty straightforward, but it's it's a fun gameplay mechanic. And then of course uh, one video I released today while I'm recording this is called Delirium. The game literally takes 20 minutes to finish and I was a bit disappointed when I played the game because I, I only paid $1.50 for it so uh, I was expecting it to be that type of game going on but uh, I started playing the game it took me 20 minutes there isn't any stories it's a it's a bit of a weird game uh, like some like when you when you're playing the game you don't know if something's like it's supposed to be glitching the way it is or like or uh, or, yeah, you don't know if the game's supposed to be glitching the way it is, or it's it's an actual glitch that's not supposed to be there. Uh, but I know it's about it's about almost the game feels like almost trying to make you feel insane at some somewhere or something. It's a bit weird to explain. So def go check out the video. Of course, if you're watching the YouTube version, you'll see the video playing right now. Uh, yeah, it's a bit weird. It's still I still had a fun. It was worth a dollar. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give it a dollar. It was fine enough. There's no story. There's no nothing. It's, uh, but it's. I don't want to disparage the game. It was still like a fun little experience, but it wasn't like um, <laughs> if you don't have that extra dollar <laughs> to say well, don't don't waste your money on it. But it it was. Watch the video. You'll see if you want to play. There's not much to it. I playing by, in one playthrough. I got all the trophies you just by looking. You just have to look at everything in the level and that's pretty much it besides that that's pretty much it uh, I don't know if you guys I, last week I released a video a uh, new challenge I, I I don't know if I'm the first person to do that but like uh, <laughs> the title I called it dumb idea but the actual title is uh, not so VR challenge so basically I I took um, my I have a, a phone VR headset and I took out the, the, the front facing the front uh, the front plaques or whatever so you you see the lenses in the back and the, the the main point of the challenge is to play a video game while I'm only I see through the lenses which was fun it was hilarious while I was playing it but after a while I played for like I think for a good 40 minutes or something like that I don't remember and after a while my eyes were getting quite tired I actually played for only 20 minutes I think yeah my eyes were getting extremely tired so that eh, it was still fun. If you if you guys want to see uh, see more challenges like that, or any ideas for challenges, definitely let me know. Uh, I'll try them out. Not too like stupid or something that's gonna injure myself. That would kind of suck. And that's pretty much it. What I've been playing for the last week. I'll definitely play more Stellaris and Far Cry Primal. And then next week, well, I'll talk about it when I get in the news there. So without further ado, let's jump right into the news. <laughs> All right. Well, this week's news. Uh, there is only I only have four stories to talk about, and yeah, there is there wasn't much going on as per news wise. Not not stuff that I want to talk about. But anyway, the first article is um, it's from Kotaku, uh, written by Brian Ashcraft, and it's uh, introducing a new Pokemon app called Pokéland. So the article reads as follows: In Pokéland, Toy Pocket Monster Duke get out various in-game islands. Think Pokemon. Th think Pokemon Rumble, but for smartphones. Slated for iOS and Android, this app requires an internet connection, internet account, meaning blah blah blah. This app is going to this app is going into Android-only alpha tests in Japan. The tests feature six islands, 52 different stages, 150, 150 types of pocket monsters. Uh, during the alpha, players will be able to progress to the 15th floor of the Champion Tower. So note that those who participate in the app will not be able to transfer their data once the app is officially released because said data will be deleted. The alpha runs until June 9th in Japan. No words. Okay. So the article is pretty small. Basically, yeah, I'll show a picture here that I, I am seeing right now. Basically, uh, the game looks not too bad. It's a new app. Uh, just, I don't, I didn't know what else to talk about. So it looked pretty interesting. Another Pokemon game. I know lately they've been, uh, they've been pumping them out there. And this one looks pretty interesting. Another type of battling game i know um a, a game i got addicted to last week was um magikarp jump or jump magikarp or whatever they call it was that <laughs> i've actually been playing that game it's actually pretty fun I, I like after the first two days i'm already starting to die down from the the game there it's it stopped being interesting a bit but 
Uh, it was still uh, still pretty fun to uh, to play. And that's pretty much it for this news. Yeah, new Pokemon Land. Uh, I guess uh, I guess if they're so far, all the games have been pretty decent for like Nintendo slash Pokemon games. Uh, so we'll definitely have to see what Pokemon has to say, and uh, hopefully this time they'll release uh, uh, on iOS and Android at the same time. Would be pretty cool. Uh, let's move on to the next article of news. This one's a bit more disappointing. Hopefully it gets better. Is uh, This one is written by VG247. Uh, Friday, the thir- Friday the 13th, the game server issue and outdated Xbox One version. Sours, sour fans on the game. So this article is written by Sheriff Saeed. Sorry if I butchered your name there. So, uh, horror, the article goes as follows. Horror fans anticipation of Friday the 13th, the game, which was released this week, to, uh, or last week, sorry. Uh, the game turned into disappointment very quickly. Uh, the anticipated launch of Friday the 13th, the game, has been a letdown for most players. Almost everywhere you look, by it, Reddit, the Steam forums, and even the game's own official forum, it's hard to miss the, noisy players are ma- the noise players are making. The two biggest issues are server-related, pr- server related, preventing players from logging in and another that specifically pertains to the version released on Xbox One. Server issues have been reported since launch, with some particularly particularly on consoles unable to play a single game. Database login failures, verify internet connectivity is the error the most commonly cited. Some have had better luck with, with playing the game using a different account through family sharing which is nowhere near ideal, to say the least. Um, The article continues, The developer responded by running maintenance to try and alleviate the issue before saying in the forum post that it was due to the number of players trying to log into at the same time. Additionally, those who manage to log in may find their rank and unlock resets, but the post assured player that their set are saved in the back backhand so this is just a visual error for now even those who do manage to get in are faced with long wait times as many other remain stuck in the menus officially reducing the available pool of players and matchmaking will be pulling from yeah Oops, sorry just taking i got a sneeze i guess we'll be fine i guess for now yeah so uh, the article continues a bit, uh, a bit lower but i think we got the general uh, if, if or whatever <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't know what, which word I'm, I'm looking for um, so yeah so yeah Frightened 13 it's been just, it sucks the game's having issues because I I personally have been waiting for the game uh, for a while I haven't had a chance I didn't have the budget to buy it this time around but I will once the issues are going to be solved it's probably a game I do feel like I, I would want to try with like people or just myself or whatever uh, it does look very interesting the game's a, the price is a bit steep for what you're getting right now though but like they're saying a lot of stuff is coming out but anyway that's not the crux of the the news it does it's it is unfortunate having like you're buying a new game for 40 or even where in Canada 50 dollars and the, the, the stuff doesn't work the game is getting a lot of like up and down review like some people's like this is the worst game ever done this is like the most disappointed game ever and you're getting some people's like when you get in the game the game is generally good it's it's what you're ex- what you expect from a friday the 13th game you get jason you get variable skins for jason then you get all the camp counselors and the general crux of the game is pretty fun. Like I've watched while well, while the game was in uh, beta uh, stage for PC, the game is actually pretty fun. Like as your I think your four uh, five or six or five to seven uh, counselors, and you have to uh, get away from Jason by uh, getting a car uh, fixed and ready to go. And of course, there's multiple other ways where you can call cops to for them to come and help you exit the game or whatever. So. The game, the game's general uh, thing, the, its main spill, spiel, is very interesting. But it sucks that a lot of people like what I've been hearing the most is X, the Xbox One thing is really the biggest issue right now because a lot of people on Xbox can't even play the game whatsoever, which sucks. And um, I do follow Friday the Thirteenth the, the Twitter account, and they've been added like since this weekend like they, they they're tweeting out almost every five minutes to try to let people know what's going on and if something's being fixed so i'm hoping a lot of like i'm hope i'm sending good vibes to them because the game the games the, the game seem to have like full full uh good intentions behind it and hopefully the developers will be able to get this uh going up and being played because it that's that's the that's what sucks about smaller smaller uh 
uh, smaller companies when they try to do games and they get a lot of hype out of it. The, 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 there's so much, so many people that attack the game at the same time and small, small little companies are, are having problems going for it. Like you, good example is, uh, Rocket League. Now, Rocket League is one of the, a, a very, very, uh, a game that's very popular, uh, right now. It's, it's always like, uh, I've listened to a podcast the other week or so that were saying that, like, one of the, one of the guys that worked for um, Sciatic, no, I don't remember exactly the game. The, the creators from the creators from Rocket League, anyway, he was saying like their game since since launch. After the first three months, the game was uh, has been going up uh, constantly every month, and it's been up for what three years now? Two years? Three years? Oh, it, is it a year now? A year? Now? I don't remember. But since its launch a year or so ago. It's been content- continuously going up and up and up every month. Like he was very surprised. They they've went from a what was what was saying like a 30 man team to an 85 man team or something like that uh, to to keep supporting the game. And it's a const- constantly evolu- ev- evolving game. And I'm hoping I'm hoping that Friday the 13th will see the same faith because they, they 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 only have three maps and a couple of uh, counselor and Jason skins so far. But I do see that they 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 will be releasing more maps, and they're they're thinking about doing a campaign mode and stuff like that. And they haven't said that, and all of the all of all of these things were going to be uh, all uh, like downloadable DLC. I think there are a lot of it is included already in the forty dollars. Well, I'm hoping forty dollars if you get three maps and only uh, one, one game mode and stuff like that. Well, so I haven't I haven't seen any of the detail of the game itself, but. You guys get the general crux of the game. Hopefully, guys, uh, those get even better for them. Hopefully, because uh, the game does look very interesting. And that's it for that article news. So the little one, uh, we'll move on to a little, a uh, little bit more uh, funner, if I can say that word. <laughs> a little bit funner news. Uh, it's about the PS Plus free games for June of 2017. So this month, everybody's going to be getting. Uh, if I go over uh, to the PS, uh, to the uh, PlayStation blog. Uh, so we're getting for PS4, we're getting Killing Floor 2, and Life is Strange. So, so definitely check, do check that out when that comes out, because I'm probably gonna, I might do a full playthrough of Life is Strange. I did play the fir- first episode way back when it came out on the Xbox One. I, I reviewed it and everything. If you guys can definitely go check out the review on the MeTimeGamer.com and go to the review section, you can definitely check that out over there. The game did interest me. A lot of people complained, of course, uh, it was too SJWE and stuff like that. It's like, it's just a game. Fucking just play the game. Stop worrying about the back meaning of a game. Just play the goddamn game, people. <laughs> but besides that, the, the, it is a good selection for PS4. Finally, it's been a while. Even Killing Floor 2 seems like a very interesting game. I, th- I think it's being released this month. I don't I don't think it's already released on PS4. Let me... Let me... Let me go check real quick. Uh, yeah, so there's a couple more games too coming out uh, for there's uh, Abyss Odyssey, WRC Five World Rally Championship. There's Neo. Those for those two were for um, the PS3. Um, just get Killing Floor Two PS4 release date. Uh. Give me a second here, guys. Uh, oh, November 18th. Okay, so it's already been out for uh, for six months there. Okay, I thought I thought it was actually I, I didn't see it there go by on the PS, PSN store. Uh, yeah, so for PS Vita, and these two are also crossed by with with uh, PS4 is Neo Neon Chrome and Spy Chameleon. So those are the six games available for you. I can't wait to see once once they start putting out. Eventually, I'm assuming they're going to be uh, uh, putting out uh, games for the PSVR eventually. I'm hoping. That'd be fun. But yeah, those two PS4 games are probably going to be very interesting. Hopefully, I'll be I'll have the chance to play. I know Killing Floor. I've seen the, uh, the bigger YouTubers play that once in a while. It seems very interesting. It's sort of, a, if I remember, it's a wave-based game where you have to equip your player and then you have to take down these creepy ass monsters uh, oh they have the description here uh, Killing Floor 2 is the first person co-op zombie shooter set in the me- immediate aftermath of Killing Floor which uh, I guess if you don't know what it is it doesn't really help you uh, tasked with descending into continental Europe to combat an outbreak of zombie vi- virus player will form groups up to 6 to wor- and work together to eradicate the undead and save civilization 
So that's pretty full. That's pretty full. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's pretty cool. So yeah, those are all the PS Plus game. And yeah, so we only have one little article of news. So last week I talked about Far Cry 5. So this week we're going to talk about... Uh, they, they, sorry. I, sorry, sometimes I jump back and forth. I have my ideas. Don't come out, don't come out at the same time. So yeah, last week we talked about a Far Cry 5. Uh, they, they were announcing it on Friday, and of course they did. Uh, they released the trail, uh, the announcement trailer. I think it's about three minutes long, uh, where they introduce sort of uh, the it's sort of uh, narrated by uh, uh, Joseph, which is like the preacher of the the cult of uh, what do they call them? Uh, game features. The cult. Uh, I got got the page here. I'm uh, just trying to find it here. Where the hell is this information? The cult. Learn more about the cult. So the cult is left is le led by Joseph, if I remember correctly. The guy, uh, if you guys remember the image from last week where I showed the guy sitting in the center, he's he's uh, he's uh, uh, jo Jose Joseph. I don't know why I wanted to say Jose. Jesus Christ, why the fuck is this taking so long? Just give me a second. I'm still here. Don't worry. Anyway, yeah, you got a uh, you have the cult where the, the they're uh, uh, they they want to. Uh, oh, I really I'm sorry. I really want to just trying to you know, get it to reload here. I guess it's a flash page. It just doesn't want. Well, I got too many things open. Uh, okay, so mm, overview. Uh, welcome to Hope County, Montana land, free and the brave, but also home to a fanatical doomsday cult known as the Project at Eden's Gate. It is threatening the community's freedom, stand up to the cult leader Joseph Seed and the heralds and spark the fire of resistant wool that will liberate the besieged community. So yeah, that's pretty, yeah, the Eden, Eden's End. And then of course you have the, res, uh, they all, really, while they release the, uh, the gameplay trailer revealing, uh, Far Cry 5, they also release three other small tra trailer uh, of uh, what they call the resistant and i have to say I, I really enjoy the setting of this game uh, like this radical cult thing i know i i i, I think that's what i i think that's what i mentioned last week that that's what i've uh, uh, i explained what i assumed the game was going to be or my prediction will uh, and it's pretty much what i thought it was going to be because it was pretty obvious from the picture and uh, i can't wait to see that like Every it's 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 weird to say when I'm when I'm watching the trailer, uh, the trailer the first trailer is fine. You get like the 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 mood of the game. You got a nice little country song uh, because it's in Montana and it's uh, <laughs> it, it it just gives you into the vibe of the the little town which is known as Falls End if I remember correctly. Uh, if you see in, a, in the trailer, you sit on the water tower and on the store sign or whatever, and uh, then you get those three little trailers I thought I said earlier, and they 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 they, uh, they show. They, they talk about uh, they, they 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 sort of introduce you to uh, uh, the resistant. Let's go here. Yeah, the resistant. That's not what I clicked. God damn it! Okay. Okay, here it is. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the project, okay, here, so, yeah, we got the projects at Eden Gate. The project at Eden Gate believer collapse in the imminent and only their merciless and middle leader, the father, can save them. The cult, the project, the led by the father and commanded by the heralds, Eden Gate prays for those hopeless folks have fallen to economical, econom, economic, economical, and, Jesus Christ, these words today, I don't know what's the problem with them. Um, and psychological despair, they believe the cult will provide them with the salvation in return to the most devote their soul. And okay, there's more info. So game and game, oh, they also have put information in the game features. Okay, so that's what I wanted to find earlier. So uh, open world, you're in control, set with with be beautiful rural Montana and built on an open world format. Hope County truly is the land of the free from the simple pleasure of Holland Valley to the healing wonders of he Henbane River. To the raw power of Whitetail Mountains, you'll find endless adventure deep, and the deeper you explore, uh, resistance resistance cost. Uh, when you hit hard, the enemy gets hit, gonna hit back harder. Far Cry 5's dynamic AI tracks the effect you're having in the game and alters the enemy's strategy against you. Be prepared; the cult will boost their efforts when you become less of a nuisance and more of a threat. 
game on, game activities. The fate of Hope County is in your hand. Take a cold solo or team up with the fellow resistor in co-op mode and wreck wreak havoc upon Joseph Seed and his band of cult followers. In the biggest Far Cry, in the biggest Far Cry release ever. You'll have everything at your disposal from hired guns to hired fangs and the baddest arsenal on the side of the Mississippi. Guns and fangs for hire. Your possessed come. You, your posse comes in all shapes, sizes, and species to help aid in the campaign against the project of, at Eden's Gate. Call upon other resistance fire from the, the town and from the backcountry river bed and black black skies hope coming. So I'll, I won't go through all this because there's still a lot of information on that. Uh, if you go on to Ubisoft, uh, the Far Cry, far-cry.ubisoft.com uh, website. Uh, you'll get a lot more information on the game. So yeah, I was talking about the small little trailer. Sorry, I deviated way, way to the left there. Um, so yeah, they, they were talking about, uh, they were showing the little trailers for The Resistance where you're introduced to Mary, Joseph, and another one I'm forgetting right now. God damn it. I, I have the information in front of me. I just for some reason, I can't find it. I can't find the specific detail I'm looking for. We'll get it. Don't worry. Give me a second. Uh, I'm, I'm on the I'm on the Ubisoft YouTube page there because the trailers are right there. So you have the one trailer for Pastor Jerome Jeffries. Sorry, I don't know why I was Joseph. Also, you have uh, Nick Rye and you have Mary May Fairgrave. So those are the three characters you're introduced are that are part of the Resistance. And I have to say, you have to watch these trailers because for some reason those like those three trailers, the way they're done and the way they're like they're narrated, it really gives me like a you really get into the vibe of how those people feel in the moment of being invaded by this cult. Uh, it, for some reason, the, it's it's weird to say because this never happened to me, but I'm really I really got shivers every time I listen to the trailer, and I've listened to these trailers like at least five six times each by now. And they're every time I listen to them, I like I get like the feeling that I'm 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 facing their problem. I get the chill in my back, like that that I feel like you have the feeling. Yeah, I would probably feel the same way they 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 are right now. Like want to protect myself in my home town city and stuff like that uh so yeah so definitely go check out all the information pertaining to that there's a lot of information not a ton of course there'll be probably more information at e3 which is only a couple weeks away hopefully you guys are ready for that that's gonna be a lot of cool stuff happening and that's gonna be it for the news this week there's, that's all i had there's not much more to talk about very interesting that are that is not depressing or stuff like that so we will move on to kickstarting it Alright guys, so if you don't know what kickstarting it, basically I go in the deep, deep web, well not actually the deep, deep web, but I go in the deep, deep pages of Kickstarter and Indiegogo or any any related website that do the same thing. I try to find a small little game that needs your help getting funded to get up there and be created uh, on Steam or wherever. And uh, one little game I found this time around is called Police Stories. So, the small little blurb at the beginning here, it says, React fast to enemy actions, command your fellow mate to clean up the location and save hostage for, without unnecessary casualties. So there's, of course, if you're watching the video format of the, the YouTube video, you will see uh, the trailer uh, of, for the game that they're posted probably on their, their, that they have posted on their Kickstarter page. So basically the project uh, is, is explain as follows. Uh, unforgiving, intense. Each mission is each mission is a story of police operative John Ryan and Rick Jones uh, that involve infiltrating gang hideouts, rescuing hostages, making arrests, and many other life-threatening situations. We pr we present a fresh take on top-down shooters inspired by a gritty police TV show shows and film of the 90s. It puts a larger emphasis on the tactics and forces you to make split-second decisions every time you play. Don't create, don't create any unnecessary casualties. Push the perps to, to drop the weapon or shoot to kill. Sometimes the situation leaves you with no other choice. So there's a lot of uh, there is a lot of uh, cool little uh, the, the sorry the page for the game keep, keeps going. Of course, there uh, I'll read off the core mechanics quickly. There you have the surrender system. Uh, you have is you can issue commands. Uh, the, the playthroughs are very random. Uh, various type of lawbreakers. Try not to get spotted. Uh, local and online co-op. 
uh, full full scale level editor. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot of small details. Uh, some info for the game. I should have read that at the beginning. Uh, the game is made by Mighty Morgan. I don't know if it's one person or multiple person. So the game needs basically twenty five thousand uh, dollar gold, and they already raised three thousand three hundred seventy three. Uh, f from 70 backers and they still have 31 days to go so the project ends on July 2nd at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So definitely you guys go de go check out the game. I'll leave a link of course in the description below of the video or on the uh, MeTimeGamer.com post of about the podcast. You can check that there. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, will go support that. Of course, if you guys want to try out the game, there is an alpha on the Kickstarter page you can download. You can probably, uh, if you look at my YouTube page, I'll probably uh, later in the week, I'll probably put out a small little video, a small little video concerning the alpha. Maybe uh, maybe the day after this this podcast is released or whatever. We'll have to see from there. Uh, definitely go check out if you want to pledge for that. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Just I was reading something. Yeah, definitely uh, go to the Kickstarter page, uh, click the link, and definitely go check out the project if you want to help out the game. All right, we have finally reached the end of the podcast today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. That was fun. Oh, I didn't know we were going to reach 30 minutes today. Didn't know what I was I was going to talk about, but we finally made it to the end. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Of course, if you enjoyed, please take the couple minutes it takes. Go rate me on iTunes, Stitcher, I, uh, Google Play. I think you can do it there, too. And anywhere you can rate, even leave me a comment on the YouTube video or even on the... Uh, MeTimeGamer.com post uh, for the uh, the podcast. You can leave a comment there. Tell me you like it, what to change, anything. Or even if you don't want to do any of that and you just want to send me a quick email, you can definitely do so at podcast at MeTimeGamer.com where you can uh, give me a critique, anything you want, um, if I'm doing it well. Uh, I will be putting a new intro. Hopefully you guys, well, by this time you already heard it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Of course, uh, I'm testing stuff out. I'm editing audio and stuff like that. To make it sound more appealing and more customized to my liking uh and uh, yeah of course if you want to help support the podcast i would really appreciate that you can definitely do that by going to uh patreon.com for slash me time gamer there's only one tier for you guys just to help me out I, there, i'm not offering much but of course uh there it's written there what i offer for you guys what i can do of course with my the time i have to do so and uh, is there anything else? Of course, if you want to follow me, you, of course, if you're on the YouTube page, like the video and subscribe to the channel, we re really appreciate that. That's where most of my activities are on YouTube. And of course, you can also help out uh, going to twitch.tv for slash me time gamer and hitting that follow button there too. I try to stream weekly. I haven't done it this week. I ran out of time and I'm, I don't know if I'll have time this weekend to do so. I got a company coming over. So I will be quite busy cleaning up and doing all those kind of things. And uh, of course, you can well, you can still hit the follow button, and when I go live, you get notified. And of course, you can follow me everywhere, Twitter, everywhere else, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And of course, uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys and girls for listening. And I will uh, see. I will come out. I will. What? What am I trying to say here? <laughs> Give me a second here. I will be back in your ears. Uh, I will be back in your... I'll get it, guys. I'm getting super time just seeing the time go. Uh, I will be back in your ears and next week, hopefully next week. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so thank you so much, guys, for watching or listening. And I will see you next time. Keep on keeping on.